on the couch with Koel. The air I was breathing, the rock I was sitting on, the atmosphere around me, everything had become me. I was blissed out. Every cell in my body was burning with ecstasy. These are the words of Jaggi Vasudev, better known to the world as Sadhguru. He has also been described as the monk on a motorcycle, the rock star guru, and the man who knows. I'm going to be using his time with me on the couch to get all my existential questions answered. Sadhguru, I am really very pleased and honored <laughs> that you are with me on my couch here today. I don't think you need much of an introduction. We all know that at the age of 25 at Chamundi Hills, you sat and you became one with the universe. And something that was the beginning or the marking of your spiritual journey. For a lay person, what does enlightenment mean? You definitely understand the limitations of your existence, don't you? I think so. So if there are limitations, definitely there are ways to break your limitations. So whatever limitations in which you exist, physical, psychological and otherwise, if you can go beyond that, for now you can say that is enlightenment. <laughs> That's not, but for now you can say that because if we talk about something that is not yet in your experience, it just becomes a story. How does one go about achieving it? Enlightenment is not really an achievement, it's more like a homecoming. You always have an idea that you are somewhere outside, you are experiencing the outside. You have never experienced the outside. Everything that you have known has happened only within you. Absolute coming home is enlightenment. What is the difference between stillness of the mind that people talk about, the fact that you can be without thought and be in pure meditation and stagnation of the mind? Stagnation would mean <coughs> repeated cycles of the same things happening within your mind. But stillness is not stagnation because stillness is very, very vibrant. So stillness means nothingness and nothingness is the basis of everything. So you can still have like hundred thoughts going and be fully active and ticking and be in a meditative state? Yes. See, first of all, let's uh, make this clear as to what is meditation. Meditation is not an act, it is a quality. Once you create a clear distance between what is you and what is yours, once there's a distance between what is you and what you have gathered, then you are meditative naturally. Then what you have gathered is not a problem, it is your property. Your property is not your problem if you know how to use it. 